All right, guys, welcome to episode 102 of Dope Talk TV. Is your truly low key. Got John here with me, got Remy on the floor. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that we fucking drop. And listen, man, only, only like fucking 50% of y'all are actually subscribed. So we need to hit, you know what I'm saying? We need to hit that subscription bell. Yeah, period, we need period. that. That's all we need from y'all. Leave a like, leave a comment, share it with a friend. You know what I'm saying? And welcome back. Welcome yeah. back. Welcome back. Welcome yeah. back. We back. We back. How you feeling today, Johnny boy? How you feeling? I'm chilling. I just let this blood out. Yeah, man. Light your blunt. Light your J. Pack your bone. Pack your bowl. Get your dab rigs ready. Whatever you got to do. Get your fucking edibles going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's Liddy Titty over here. It's a Liddy lot, Titty. A lot of people, man. Like, I appreciate you guys, man. I had a couple uh, supporters send me uh, pictures. Like, one guy watching us on his phone. Literally watching us on his phone and smoking a fucking Dutch. I was like, hey, man, shout out to you, bro. Like, Round of applause, man. Round of applause to you guys. Yeah, man, there's a lot of supporters and it's been growing, guys. Like, we really do appreciate it. Like, you guys are who we do it for, you know. We, it, like, this is like a like a therapeutic type of thing. You know what I'm saying? We were just talking about it before the podcast. Like, for me, anyway, it's like, it's kind of like a, a, a therapeutic thing. You know what I'm saying? We come in, we, we talk about shit, we have fun, we smoke. It's like meeting up with the boys once a week and just fucking, you know what I'm saying? Just, this nigga's already fucking up my fucking angle. This fucking guy. Hey. And uh, yeah, bro. But it's just, it's a therapeutic thing for me, bro. Like, I like it. I enjoy it. And you know what I'm saying? We appreciate those that enjoy it too. Yeah, yeah. That us. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Um, and again, like what Loki said, like, only like 50% of y'all are fucking not like you guys are not really like supporting at the end of the day. Yeah, so why bro. the fuck are you like even watching us? Like, just nah, go ahead. Just, we know yeah. why they watching. They hating. Hey, <laughs> listen, we got matter of fact, round of applause to the haters too. Round of applause to the haters. We got a few of those. We yeah. know y'all watching. It's cool with us. You know what I'm saying? As long as it helps with the algorithm. Yeah, yeah, that's what the algorithm, you know what I mean? That's we gotta, all really we gotta, we gotta average, you know, we gotta bounce the highs with the lows. We bounce gotta the highs with the lows and the lows with the mids and yeah. the mids with the tops. Because if there was no lows, there'd be no highs. If there's no highs, there's no lows. Philosophical. Hey, guys, that was probably the best piece of advice that we ever given on this fucking podcast, dog. My dog said. <laughs> I've never been to any of those. Have you? What? The, the, the like spoken words? Yeah, like the open mic and shit. Nah, I'd love to go though, bro. I I really do enjoy that type of art. It's it's different, man, and it's unique. Like it takes. It's balls. not easy. It takes balls. It takes balls, and it's not easy. And then a lot of those people are coming from pain, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, I can't imagine you <laughs> say balls. Imagine you say something <laughs> fucking deep, like real fucking deep, and you're just like. Yeah, fucking, you know, and then you're hoping for this, all these snaps, and it's yeah, like, yeah, they're just stare, nah, they're just, it's just quiet. <laughs> yeah, they're like, they're like, damn, and you're just sitting there like, damn, bro, maybe this isn't for me. <laughs> you gotta know yourself, though. You know what I'm saying? If you can make a crowd move, then I think you can. Do but it. it's art, though. It. So it's like, not yet. So it's it's like, it really is, bro. Who cares what you think? It's art, bro. Somebody now, else fuck you. Is. If you don't like it, hey guys, listen, talking about some fucking artwork. Bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This fucking. Invisible art, right? That sold for like 20 grand a couple months ago. I know. Insane. Even more insane. This other guy is suing that guy because he has an invisible piece of art that he came up with first. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Yo, and he win? has proof <laughs> that he they fucking built this invisible he, piece he, of art. He put a little date on the corner of the, of the invisible fucking art. Holy shit. That's no, he trash. has a video of like four of his friends acting like they're building something from like 2016. Oh, that's fucking ass. That's trash. Hey, 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 if he wins that, though, I'm going to laugh my fucking ass off. I feel like you can win anything. Does. Round of applause to that guy trying to come up with a bag in the midst, in the midst of a fucking pandemic. You can go to court. <laughs> you can literally go to court for anything, anything nowadays. Anything. What the fuck, man? Like, hey, bro. I don't know, man. There's a lot of things that happen in the dark, bro. What you think? Yeah, a lot of things happen in the dark, man. A lot. a lot of things happen in the dark that I feel personally, I feel like they eventually come to light. Right. Like that's the question for this for this topic is do things that are things that are done in the, in the dark come to light eventually. I feel like they do. I feel like they do. It might not even be in your lifetime, bro. Like You might do some dirty shit. And then like after you die, they're like, oh, it was that motherfucker. That did it. You know what I'm saying? Like that us. But I don't know, bro. I feel like it does. You know, it might not be in your lifetime and everything happens on God's timing, bro. We were just talking about that. Everything happens on God's timing. So, you know what I'm saying? It'll be revealed when it needs to be revealed. Yeah. 
And it may not even be involved with you. It may just come out in the dark by itself without you even being there. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Like if you're in a situation. Like how? Like, explain it. Explain like if you're in a situation, you know, and you see some shit that's happening, but you just mind your business and you kind of just stay out of it. And you're like, you know what? Time will, time will, will come. For that person, you know oh, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, that like, hap- I mean, listen, man, things happen. I feel like, like people put up with more than what they what they want just because. I don't know, man. People are just too nice nowadays, bro. It's like a very passive aggressive time in history. Everybody wants to be passive aggressive. Everybody wants to just be like, "Oh no, it's alright, whatever." It's like, nah, bro. Sometimes it's not alright. You know, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll punch like, you in your fucking mouth. How about that? Like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm real easy to just like, I don't know. I keep saying it. You know, it's real. It, I'm real easy to just fucking c- cut you off. It's li- it's literally the little things in life that 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 matter to me the most. Right. It's the little fucking things. And people don't even look. They don't even look that way at the little things. They think it's like the bigger things. And it's like, no, bro. Like, it's the principle. Like, people don't have like, like, yeah, facts. it's just the principle that matter. You know, so. um Everybody's different, though, man. You can't you can't expect people to like what you said. What did you say earlier? You're yeah, like, you can't expect people to to just have the balls that you have and just take actions that you would. Like, for example, we were talking about like right or wrong situations, right? Being right or being wrong. If it's right, it's right, and when it's wrong, it's wrong. And me and him are personally going through situations where it's like I don't care how good of a friend I am with the person, bro. When you're wrong, you're wrong. Yep. And if you being you being a real friend <coughs> is letting that person know. You don't gotta do it in a big way, in a public manner. You can pull them aside and be like, yo, bro, like <coughs> that was wrong. Like, just want you to know that, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could get mad, you could and ultimately if the if the person gets mad, bro, it's like that's not that's good. just not taking accountability. That's yeah. all that ultimately that's all it is. It's like, oh no, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? It's me. Like, no, nah, yeah. bro, like listen to what I'm saying. Yeah. That was wrong. Yeah. They're wrong too for this, but you're wrong for this. Yep. And two wrongs never make a right. And i I've preached that, bro. This bro, get him bro, out of here, bro. Get out of here. Get, get him out, out of here. here. You gotta take a shit. <laughs> Out there. This guy keeps moving my second, fucking guys. camera, guys. We're gonna take a slight little fucking pause, all right? A little recess, because this guy's moving my camera about four fucking times already. Holy shit! So, Love you, Remy. You probably gotta take a shit, but I'll, can take, <laughs> I'll take the L. Take the fucking dump. Hey, bro, if he takes a dump, bro, no, he's said, uh, no. "Fuck you." No, if he takes a dump, dump, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh this fucking guy john but anyway guys like we were just saying what the fuck are we talking about bro i'm high well we're literally talking about uh, yeah right and wrong yeah right and wrong. You're when wrong, you're right, you're wrong when you're right when you're right when you're right you're right when you're wrong you're wrong period i don't care who you are i'll let you know straight up like that ass there was plenty of times i was wrong in my life and my friends were like hey bro you were wrong for this and it's true. You got to really listen to your fucking, like, listen to your peers and shit. Like, you got to listen to the people that care about you, man. You got to listen to the, the the friends that actually care about you. You know, and sometimes those friends sound like the friends you don't want to fucking listen to. Because it's like, man, I don't want to hear that shit. But that's the shit that you need to hear. Like, what you need to hear isn't always what you want to hear. It's the same thing with everything. Like, what you need isn't always what you want. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's like, bro, I've told certain people certain things. Like, yo, bro. Be careful. You know what I'm saying? Move move a certain way. Just yeah. be careful. They didn't end up fucking going to prison. Yeah, that ass. Not even two months later. I was like, bro, just, yeah. oh, bro, I know what I'm doing. I'm a man. Okay, cool. Then go be a man then, bro. Just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, be a little smarter than what you're moving. Yeah. Like, it's, like, it's just ego, bro. A lot of men have egos. We have we have egos, bro. And when people, when people say, when a man, usually when a man is like, yo, you disrespected me, what he really means is you hurt my ego. In some way, shape, or form. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> like, why, really? that's why I feel like if somebody's like, if somebody opens up to you and they're vulnerable, if that makes sense as a man, that you got to give respect to that. That means that person really trusts you. You know yeah, what I mean? Facts. Like, and like, doesn't really care what you think about. Like, I, like, I don't care what you think about me because I'm me. If that makes sense. Right. Like I'm me. Like, I, like it's either you take me for me or, or, or we keep it moving. Yeah. Facts. Big facts. You know, and people don't get that. Like, I, I just never understood people that change their behavior and the way they act around certain different people. 
like there's one thing of being versatile with different people because you want to be on their level but you, to to really change and really not be who you say like you know what i mean how, how yeah acting, no like, bro it's like it's just being fake yeah it just comes like, down to being fake bro it's like it's like come on bro like that's not how you are so stop acting like that facts you know what facts. i mean so that's just the way i think like a lot of people bro a lot of people are just lost in life bro a lot of people are just lost in life, man. You you grow into who you are, you don't. Like, a lot of people don't, but I feel like that's a part of, like, for our age group, right? Like, we're mid-20s. Like, we're just, like, really starting to experience life, though. Yeah. A lot of us are just starting to experience life. Yep. Like, so, it's like, shit just, shit happens, bro, and your perspective changes over time. You grow up. Some people are stuck in phases, and they will be stuck in that phase for 20 years, you know? Yeah. Like, they just don't grow up, and they don't, they don't see certain things, but I feel like you just gotta let people live their journey, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the only people that you should be responsible for and, and, and be like, yo, like, give advice to and shit like that, for real, are people that ask for it. You know what I'm saying? People that you really care about yeah or like just like your children you know what i'm saying if you don't like that's a big part of telling somebody something it's like if you don't care about them bro you're not gonna say certain things you know what i'm saying like and that's something i've told i've told my friends over the years in multiple occasions where it's like bro i'm telling you this because i fucking care yeah because if i didn't care i'd just let you leave and go crash into a fucking tree Dead ass. <laughs> For real. That ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, so don't get mad at me. Don't act like I'm trying to stop your good time. Nigga, I'm trying to stop you from fucking killing yourself right now. And it's you like, know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> we gotta we gotta start helping each other. We gotta start build like building each other up, bro. People forget that. Yeah, People support like, each other. Like man. if we're not building each other up, like we gotta help each other out. Like everybody has their own insecurities, bro. Let's help each other out with our insecurities and build each other up, bro. Because like Fact. that's like at the end of the day, like you gotta, you gotta be the best version of you, bro. Mm-hmm. Like every day, you gotta grow, you gotta grow, you gotta, you know. If not, then what? what what's the point? Nah, facts. I completely agree, bro. But it ultimately, it, it comes down to the person that wants to grow. Like it's up to you. It's up to the individual guys. You guys watching out there, yeah. like it's up to you. Yeah. If you want to change your life, you're gonna change your life. Yeah. Like. You're going to do certain things. You're going to make certain sacrifices. You're going to make the decision, yo, from today going forward, bro, I'm not doing this no more. I want a certain lifestyle and I'm going to work for it. Yeah. Like, period. Let's just and not talk about it. it doesn't matter. It. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I got to do if I got to go fucking work, flip burgers for a couple months, stack money, move on to something else. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So I could invest in my business. Whatever you got to do, man, you do it. But like John just said, bro, you don't fucking talk about it. Like, just do it, man. Just just go do it, bro. Like, it doesn't matter what people say, what people think. You know what I'm saying? Like, the negative energy that you receive. Like, everybody ain't going to be fucking happy for you. And that's just, like, that's ultimately, that's life. And it's not you even you. Like, it's not even you. They're just not happy with themselves. Mm, like round of applause. Like that's it, a, that was actually deep. Like, that was actually deep. Like, round of applause. And yeah, yeah it, it's it, not that's even really, personal. That's really what it comes down to. Like, a lot of people feel a certain type of way. A lot of people are very selfish-minded, bro. It's all about me, 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 I, I, I. And it's like, bro, like, y- you're right, John. Like, they're upset because they look at themselves and what they haven't done. Yep. So they're comparing that person's situation with their situation. And then that's where the hate starts coming from. Because yep. it's like, bro, it's like, like, everybody has choices. Everybody has 24 hours. You wake up every day and you make choices. You, you make certain decisions that are going to either improve your future or not. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. Yeah. It's up to you, bro. Dead it's ass. up to you. Like Kevin Gates said, man, he basically said, like, what did he say? I'm high, guys. I'm sorry. Hey, that was funny. Round of applause. He'll come back. He'll come back. Round. round of applause. He'll come back. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, I was watching the interview. He said some real shit, man. A lot of shit. And I was like, wow, man, this guy's real, bro. Like Kevin yeah, Gates. Yeah, nah, man. I fucked like, with Gates, man. I Shout like out to music. Kevin Gates, bro. Shout out to Gates. I always knew I fucked with him when I found out he was Regan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> Straight up. On a spiritual level, man, like he be speaking facts. Like I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, it's a spiritual journey, bro. Everybody's on their own. That's why it's like there's certain things that you watch other people do that might not make no fucking sense to you, but it's none of your fucking business because it's not your journey. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like straight up. Like if so, whatever makes that person happy, bro, I'm learning that the older I get. Like, bro, just whatever makes that person happy is 
makes that person happy, man. Like, you got to worry about you. Like, you can't sit here and watch somebody else, nigga. Like, in a race, why do you think the, the fucking horses got those fucking visors on, bro? Because they don't want them looking to the other horse. Oh, okay. <clears throat> exactly. <You> <clears throat> like, beautiful. Beautiful. Nigga. Comparison. So, exactly. They don't... It's all about comparison. So, like, he was talking about how he took a social media break for, like, yeah, six months. facts. And he was just like, yo, like, the like literally the worst thing that you could do to yourself is sit here and compare. And it's hard not to, like, scroll down and see, you know, other people doing good. But, like, it's not even on jealousy. It's just comparing. Everybody has a different story in life, like how you were saying. Like, everybody yeah. has their own route. So you can't sit here and compare yourself. But, like... Some people, they just can't help themselves. And it's not just and it's that, not even man. that, yeah. Like, that's part of it, you yeah. know? That's part of it, too, what yeah. you said, you know? So that's it for some people. For other people, it's just like, bro, like, it's repetitive. Monotony is insanity. Literally. That's the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and over and over, expecting a different result. Yep. That's that's literally that what that means. Yeah. So, I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I don't want to do that, bro. Like it's like I personally been off. Like I haven't been posting. I haven't even been fucking scrolling. I haven't unless somebody sends me something. Yeah. And even then, like it, like I'm selective about it because it's like, bro. Like I'm, at, I'm telling you, bro. Guys, when you're on a, on your growth, bro, you're on your growth. When you're on your time, you're on your time. Like I've gone to a place in my life, bro. Like I was just telling you before the podcast, bro. I don't care about certain things. On a Saturday night, I'd rather be reading a book. Reading yeah. the Bible, reading yeah. reading something that can help me out. Like, yeah. it's a difference, you know? And whoever, you know what I'm saying? Whoever understands it, understands it. And whoever doesn't, doesn't. That's not my business. Listen to your you body, bro. People yeah. forget that. Facts. Like, listen, listen. Yeah, energy speaks to you, bro. And it's like, if your energy, if your body's telling you, like, yo, bro, take a break, be by yourself, go do something, you know what I'm saying? Change it up. Whatever it is, do it. Listen to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because there's, that's what, what some people call a mental immune system. Like, that's your own mind having an immune system and being like, yo, get this negative shit out of here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before it starts affecting me. Like all you the, the vibrations, like, bro, because we're all yeah. water, man. You know, and I don't know if you see the water in the background, but hey, I love the beach, to this guy. My guy finally got some artwork. Yeah. Round of applause to him, hey. man. That shit's fly. If I was on some shrooms with a motherfucking paddleboard. It's beautiful, bro. It's well, beautiful. not a paddleboard. I'm too fat for a paddleboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're fucking you're just a big dude bro, bro if I, i'll break that shit in half bro. yeah nah <laughs> you're just a big dude bro but hey dead ass though i really like the beach bro so that's why i got that's why i got nah, the artwork bro dope. that's just dope man i mean we should fucking damn if i was tripping on fucking shrooms too bro i would be fucking staring at that shit bro like wow i'd be in that shit, i've actually bro. seen is you talking about i've seen sunsets like that and it's beautiful nah it is it's fucking amazing but guys listen <laughs> There's been times where you're stuck in traffic, right? We've all been stuck in traffic, man. We've oh. all pulled. We've all had to go somewhere. You're thinking it's gonna take 30 minutes to yeah. fucking somebody flip their car four times, and now you're stuck in traffic for fucking two hours. And sometimes, in the middle of that traffic session, your stomach gets to rumbling a little bit. I mean, I mean, we all fucking, we all fucking took a piss in the fucking bottle, as guys. Like, come on, if oh, you, yeah, haven't, yeah, if you yeah, haven't taken a piss, but like when you really gotta take a shit, a list, yeah, nah, like when you bro. gotta take a dump a room, it's you a might fucking, just have to pull over, crawl to the passenger side, and just shit out the fucking other side. While the traffic goes by. God damn, that's just going to go all on the side of the fucking... I've seen that on videos. People taking... But there were actual turds, though. And they were just fucking flopping out, like, looking like little fucking raisins. But, nah, bro. Little fucking dingleberries. Nah, man. But that's that's rough, bro. Like, when your stomach starts growling and it starts hurting and you're in real pain. No, that, like, you're in real, like you're nah, in real you pain. Start sweating, there was bitch. one time I know, yo... <laughs> There was one time I was with my with my homie Trey, bro, and I was there and I was riding, and he was just like, "Yo, bro, like he understood. Like I had to take a shit. Like, I was like, "Yo, bro, I'm gonna take a diarrhea in your car, bro. just like the one that happened no, in bro. my car." <laughs> and he was like, "For real?" I was like, "Yeah, bro." He's like, "For real?" I was like, "Bro, for real." And he fucking took he took me to my house. Like he drove an extra 15 minutes out the way. He's like, bro, I understand, bro. I can't shit nowhere else but the house, bro. And I was like, yo, I understand, bro. Like this, is, you know, no, I, I appreciate you, bro. Cause I was crossing my dirt. legs. I was fucking no, sitting bro. here, bro. I was about to squirt in dirt. No, I- <laughs> He was about to squirt some dirt. Yo, I'll tell I, you what. I was going to squirt some dirt, and I ain't fucking cleaning it up. I'll tell you that. 
<laughs> nah, nah, bro. Listen, man. That's one of the worst fucking feelings. That's one of the worst fucking feelings, bro. Yeah. Or being stuck at a job where you can't go take a shit. And you're like, fuck, bro. I'm going to have to go to like this fucking dumpster in the like back of the store real quick or some shit. That is. What the like, fuck? Fuck that, man. Nah. nah, ain't nobody. Bro, I don't care who you are. Nobody in my life has ever told me I couldn't go to the bathroom. Like in high school, like they did that in elementary. They tried that with us, bro. If I really gotta go, like listen, bro, it's different when you're in school and you're like just trying to get out of class and you have to go to the bathroom and the teacher's like, nah, I'll take that. But you know what? All right, whatever. You know what I'm trying to do. Yeah. But it's like if I really gotta go to the fucking bathroom, bitch. There's nobody in this school that could fucking stop me from fucking taking my ass to the fucking toilet. Yeah, I know. I remember, like, man. Like, they tried doing that to the fucking kids in elementary until they started shitting on themselves. Well, fuck you. And I'll shit on myself and, twice and, today. And how about that? Now you got to clean me up and call my mom yeah. and tell her how you need to bring me a fucking change of clothes because yeah. you're being a piece of shit. Imagine, how about that? Imagine. <laughs> nah, bro. You know, there's one thing I can't do. I can't be a fucking stepdad. Damn. Round right of applause to my guy. He's just being honest. I don't He's think. Being I, honest. I mean, I would if I, I love I, the girl. I but think I'm, I could. But at this very moment. Oh, no. I wouldn't. Do you want the? You don't want the responsibility. That's what you're trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't, you don't want the responsibility yet. of like having that or having a kid right now. Because if not, you would have had your fucking own. And I tell people that all the time. Well, I see friends. But yeah, I see friends that go. If it's shit. the right situation, like yeah. I'm not opposed to like talking with a girl with with kids. As long as you got you know you got a good head on your shoulders, you want better for your future, you're down to work for it. All type, you know, like if we're on the same page and, and all that, bro, like. I'm down to be a stepdad, bro. If it's with the right person. Yes, with the right person. You know but right but at, at this very moment, I don't moment, want that no. responsibility. No, 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 no. Because there's one thing, like, it depends on how old the kid is already. Because if it's if it's in a situation, like, I know somebody that's going through a situation, right? And uh, imagine, like, you're you're cooking dinner, right? And you're and you're the stepdad. Everything's good. She, the the wife, asks you to fucking cook something, and the kid's like, "Hey, I don't want that." I want I want real food. And he's like, I just cooked. He's like, no. Did you hear me? I want real food. Well, you don't have to eat. I'm not going to argue with you. That's one thing I'm not doing. I'm not going to argue with a kid. You're a child. This is what it is. Brother, go in the kitchen, get you a plate. Or no. Nah, dead ass. Like, no, I'm serious. The- like, and you don't even got to be disrespectful about it. It's like, oh, well, listen, guy. Uh, that's what there is to eat. Your mom told me to cook. I'm going to grab a plate. I know she's going to grab a plate. So if you want a plate, you go ahead and do that. If not, you can go to the room hungry. Not That's that your I... choice. And we're not we're not depriving you of food. This ain't against the law, nigga. There's a whole pot of fucking food in the kitchen, nigga. If you don't want to eat, that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, bro. That's on you, nah, bro. Nah, that's just, that's fucked, you know? Hey, it's just that, like... Hey. Yeah, guess what? It's just, when you fucking buy the food and even you, family members, you can afford some family. real food. When you can afford some real food, nigga, you can, you you go get that. Yeah, that's rough, bro. That's that's a rough situation to be in. It's just hey, man. It, yeah. If you I, care about it, you'll you, yeah, you know you'll you'll put up with it. You'll deal with it. But yeah, yeah, yeah I just not, I don't want the responsibility. But let's not paint that picture because there's a certain, there's kids that I mean you know I'm saying I, I would have done. Fucking I mean, love their stepdads. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, shit. I I fucking love my stepdad, bro. Hey, he nah, taught me everything, real. man. But hey, bro, there's nothing that. Oh, it yeah, it's like yeah. it's just being real, like with yourself. Like you, you see a you see a picture and you want it that way, and that's just what it is. Yeah, of course, bro. I don't think there's any kid that wanted to grow up not having their parents around. Yeah, like, not, like come on, let's be real. Saying? Like, oh, like I don't know, bro. You grow out of that eventually. You know what I'm saying? Being a person that I, I I was never raised with my dad. You know what I'm saying? I've never been around him for longer than like two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Like in 27 years, yeah. two weeks has been the most I've ever seen him. But it's like, bro, like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Like, you got to you gotta grow out of that, bro. Yeah. You, you got to grow out of that. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a tough situation for people, bro. Like, it, it's, it's, it's a sensitive topic, actually. You know, what it I mean? is a sensitive topic because you need that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, yep. you need. I feel like I'm the type of person that feels like you need both parents. I don't care what single moms or single dads say. Yeah, those are bitter people that are using children to gain something from the court system. That's how I feel. But yeah, like you need both fucking parents. I don't care what you say. There's certain things once you get to a certain age as a man, as a male. Yeah, when you're becoming a man, that your mom can't tell you no more, bro. 
Yeah. It's like, like mom, I'm, no, not no, gonna, I'm not going to listen to you, mom. It's like, how are you going to make me? <laughs> <laughs> and that's where dad comes in and is like, listen, I will literally realign your whole bottom jaw. So go upstairs <laughs> yep. and do what the fuck you need to do. Yeah. That's what that comes in. Yep. I'm telling you, bro, like, and ultimately, like, it's not even about getting violent, man, because I'm telling you, a lot of parents, a lot of dads don't have to. It's just, there's a different, there's a difference, man. Yeah, it's, a, just, it's a just, it's it's different, bro. It's more of like a masculine thing. Like men, like men need a certain type of level, energy, you know, and there, there's a certain cap that women can't, like, there's a cap limit for women when it comes to our energy, because when it comes to being a man, it's kind of like lions, you know, we're like animals, bro. Like we need, we need that, we need that somebody. That's I mean, like, we're all part of the animal in yeah. the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's women. Women are the same in a lot of different species exactly. too. Vice versa. You know like, like there's some things that we can't do. Like yeah, we exactly. can't handle. Like I wouldn't be able to handle a certain situation with my daughter because I'm not a woman. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing, bro. There's different understandings to different things. Like there's certain things that growing up, bro, I couldn't go fucking talk to my mom about. I gotta go talk to the homies. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, <laughs> like, I don't have a dad, so I gotta go talk to the homies. Like, I just fuck this bitch, bro. Like, yeah, what's what like, the fuck, man? Like, damn, bro, she ain't supposed to smell like that. You're a kid. Yeah, you don't yeah. know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that you're shit happened to me not too long ago, man. <laughs> no, but yeah. you're a fucking adult now. You're just a nah, nasty piece no, of it, shit. Nah, <laughs> fucking with. <laughs> nah, you know what? <laughs> fucking with black toad hoes and shit. Nah, nah, these bitches fucking. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, man. And I'm not talking about all, all y'all because I've, oh, I've had some where it was like, man, it's beautiful. But anyway, oh, of man, course, you know, but. But not yeah. like going back to the main thing is like there's certain things you talk to your homies about when you don't have a fucking dad. You talk to your yeah. friends or older fucking guys around the block that give you horrible advice. You know what I'm saying? Horrible. Like, they're like they're like 17, 18, they're telling you they're thir- you're 13, they're over here like, go do this, say this. And that shit don't work out. It's like you learn a lot, bro. You learn a lot as a fucking kid, bro. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like that's where parents come in. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like you, as a dad, you should be there, bro. As a mom, you should be there. Yeah. That is your job. It's and not, you should do yeah. everything and make sacrifices. Like, whether it comes to fun, spending money, you know what I'm saying, a certain lifestyle. Like, guys, a lot of y'all are out there living living like you're 18 and, and have no kids, running around with flags and pistols and gangbanging and doing all this crazy yeah, shit. Bro, like, like, brother, like, ultimately, you got to you gotta ask yourself a question, a real question. Who do, you, who do you love more, your kids or your gang? And that's all it comes down to. Because if you're willing to be more loyal to your gang, then that means you love them more. And you don't you don't love your kids like as much as you love. And if your you, gang. yeah, unless you like you, saying? yeah, like it. It depends. Like you know, people grow up, you know, into that shit. Like their families are Latin kings, their families are bloods, and and all this shit. And that's cool. You know what I mean? I respect that. That's cool. Like at, at that point, it's kind of like that's that's in your blood. Yeah, but as a you parent, know? you shouldn't even want that for your fucking Ex- child. Yeah, exactly. You know I'm saying that like is true too. Like the you Godfather, know? bro. He was a mobster, but guess what? He wanted his son. He told his son, he's like, "Yo, go to the military, bro, because I'm gonna make you senator." He's like, I don't want you living this life, bro. I don't want you getting your hands dirty. I don't want you dealing with drugs. I don't want you doing none of that, bro. Go to the army. Yeah. Let us do this fucking illegal shit. And you go to the military. When you come back, I'm gonna make sure that you have the you have the fucking you know your connections to become the senator. Yeah. It ended up not going that way, but that was his goal. That's what real men do. It doesn't yeah. matter what I do, nigga. Yeah, I gang banged or I do this or I do that, sold yeah. that or whatever the fuck you do. Yep. But it's like, bro, you should want better for your fucking child. And if you don't, then you're fucking ignorant. Yeah, that's ignorant as fuck. You're ignorant, bro. Yeah, it's really ignorant. That's that's just setting. That's just like, it's a continuous thing. Like, it's a continuous fucking. Remy's knocking. He said, fuck you. Damn, he's fucking pissed. That's wild. Nah, yeah. for real. Yeah. But listen, guys. Yeah. We've been back with another one. We appreciate you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go Facts. down, subscribe, hit the notification Yo. bell. You're notified every single time that we drop. Yo. All right, guys? Just fucking press the thumbs up. If you don't like it, just fucking get out of here. You know what I mean? Just get the fuck out of here. Peace. Love you guys, though. Love you. Love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.